In this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about some of the quantitative procedures that you may need to use when working with chemical mixtures. Now, these procedures are mostly relevant for certification exams, but there may be occasions in your future as a safety manager or an environmental manager where you may be able to use the procedures that I'm going to show you and the formulas I'm going to show you. And this will be broken down into multiple videos. The first video, we're going to focus on the, the TLV or PEL of a mixture. And then in subsequent videos related to this topic, we'll talk about some other specific procedures. But before I talk about calculating the TLV of a mixture, I want to uh, talk a little bit about rounding rules and certification exams. Now the rounding rules that you were taught in college algebra or other mathematics classes, they are not really as important for certification exams. What I recommend for certification exams, for most problems, round to three decimal places at each step of a problem. Now, a lot of mathematicians, they will tell students, just you know, leave all the decimal places in your calculator until you get to the very end, and then you round at the very end. I, I recommend not doing that. Uh, it probably won't be a major problem on the certification exams if you do, but I had best luck on my certification exams rounding most problems to three decimal places. Now, there are some types of problems, some situations where you're dealing with very small numbers and you may need to go out to five decimal places. The TLV of a mixture problem that I'm going to show you, I use five decimal places uh, because we're going, we're, we're dealing with some very small values. There may even be some problems where you're working with very, very small values and you may need to go beyond the five decimal places. And if you have to go beyond five decimal places, I would recommend using scientific notation in your calculations. That's going to be a little easier than entering in all those digits after the decimal. Um, and this is an example of what we mean by scientific notation. This is the resistivity value for copper conductors, which we've talked about in some of our other classes. But again, it's a lot easier to work with this than it is what we have over here in the parentheses. So, again, yeah. Now, as far as the exam and the answer choices, uh, it is a multiple choice exam. And the answer choices are going to, going to be far enough apart that rounding differences should not cause any confusion. You shouldn't have any mistakes on the exam because you rounded differently than the test uh, developer rounded when they were putting together the key. You will not see anything like we have here where all of the answer choices are really close together. You have all your answer choices really close together, there is a chance where a, a rounding difference between you and the test creator could result in your choosing the wrong answer. You're not going to see this. They give you significant uh, difference between the different answer choices. And again, if you followed the pr procedures correctly, you should be able to, or you will be able to select the correct answer on cer certification exam questions. So if you have any questions about rounding, uh, please let me know. We can talk about it some more. But let's go ahead and talk about calculating the TLV or PEL if we were working with PELs, uh, it would be the same procedure uh, of a mixture, the TLV or PEL of a mixture. And here's the kind of problem that you might see on a certification exam or part of a problem on a certification exam. Uh, what is the TLV of a mixture containing 35% naphtha, 5% toluene, and 60% Stoddard solvent? The TLV for each of these substances is naphtha, 1,370 milligrams per cubic meter, toluene 377 milligrams per cubic meter, and Stoddard solvent 525 milligrams per cubic meter. And here is the formula that you're going to use. You have everything in the problem that you need to calculate the TLV of a mixture. 
using this formula. And again, don't be intimidated by the formula. There's a lot of variables, a lot of terms. It looks confusing right out of the gate, but it's really not that hard at all. Uh, yeah, this, is, this one especially is really straightforward. But let's go ahead and talk about what the different variables are within the formula. TLV subscript M is TLV of a mixture. That's what we're calculating. The one in the numerator is a constant. The F and there are multiple, we have multiple terms in the denominator. You can have an infinite number of terms in the denominator. Usually you're going to see three or four, maybe five at the most. Uh, but for each substance in the mixture, we have three substances, but for each substance in the mixture, you're going to have one of these terms. F1 is the percent of the mixture for the first substance. And we take that percent, or it could be a fraction, and convert it to decimal form. So the 35% naphtha, that's going to be F1. We'll convert that to decimal form, uh, decimal format. Uh, and you do that for each of the substances in the mixture, each of the components of your mixture. Now the TLV, again, you'll have a separate TLV for each of the components. And TLV1 goes with percentage of mixture 1, and so on. Yeah, let's go ahead and look at the next iteration of the problem, and it'll become more clear. Again, 35% naphtha, 0.35. The TLV for naphtha, 1370, right there. 5% toluene, 5% decimal form, 0.05. The TLV for toluene, 377 milligrams per, per cubic meter right there and then the last uh, component is Stoddard solvent and it's 60 percent of the mixture so we change that to 0.6 it's a decimal form then the TLV for Stoddard is 525 milligrams per cubic meter so got everything plugged in now it's just as easy as doing some division some addition and then one final division so let's go ahead and uh, do this division, 0.35 divided by 1370. Let me bring a calculator up here if I can find one. There we go. We want 0.35 divided by... Again, that's... Remember when I was talking about the very small numbers and rounding? We're dealing with some very small numbers here. And I'm going to take this out to five decimal places. So we end up with 0.35 divided by 1370, 0.00026. Let's go ahead and do the others. 0 0.05 divided by... 377.0013. Then the last one. Point six divided by five twenty five. We end up with point zero zero one one four. Okay, the next step, what we need to do is add everything up that's in the denominator. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and clear everything out, start from scratch instead of using the numbers that are in the calculator. I want to make sure everybody's on the same page here and I don't want to lose you in the process. But we want to add 0 0.0026, 0 0.0013, and 0 0.00114. So let's go ahead and do that. Looks like I get everything entered correctly there. And honestly, I'd prefer using a regular calculator than, than this online calculator. But it'll work so I can show you what I'm doing. 
And when we add all those up, what we end up with, 0 0.00153. And there it is. And we bring it on down the next iteration. There it is in our denominator. Now the last step is just dividing 1 by 0 0.00153. And we end up with 653.59 milligrams per cubic meter. That's our TLV for this particular mixture. But I do want to go ahead and uh, do the math here. Make sure I didn't make a mistake. Make sure I don't have it incorrect on the slide. And I'm, I'm always big on double checking my work. And again, you may th be thinking, well, it's just a, it's just a silly certification exam. And it is just a silly certification exam. But when you're working as a safety manager, you may end up working with some, some situations where calculations are very important. And if you make a mistake one way or the other, it could cause someone to be injured. So I'll kind of get in the habit of double checking, verifying your work, you know, get other people involved. You know, hey, Joe, can you check this for me? Make sure I didn't make a mistake. Because there are, the example in my world that's most relevant is, uh, is crane capacity. If you miscalculate a crane's capacity and you end up overloading the crane, that could result in the crane tipping over. That could result in a structural failure of the crane. And either of those incidents can result in loss of life. And you, you want to make sure your calculations are correct. But let's go ahead and verify 1 divided by 0 0.00153. And the very last, when you get to the very last like this, you just round to two decimal places. And there we are. That is... Um, the simple procedure for calculating the TLV or the PEL of a mixture. Let me go ahead and show you. If you were using the PEL, this is the same formula, but you have PEL in this location instead of the TLV. All right, well, that's the end of this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this, there will be some problems like, like this on the practice problem set. If you have any problems, uh, go ahead and text me.